There we go. I'll be drinking a little Crown and Coke tonight. Alright, let's see what I want to play real quick. And if you guys are just tuning in, it's the Middle Age Gamer. I want to appreciate you guys watching. Do got the chat display up. Uh, not doing my stream at the usual time, so I apologize about that. I was supposed to do it earlier today. So, not sure if anybody's actually going to join or not, but uh, I'm always able to upload this to YouTube as well if I do decent on one of the scenarios. <sighs> Whew. Let's go ahead and do Chris Scenario 6 on the London to Peterborough route, which is the, basically the East Coast Main Line of the new one. And it just has passenger service from Peterborough to London to King's Cross, about 75 minutes long. And it's uh, medium difficulty using the Class 365 EMU, which I'm pretty familiar with. We're going to get this loaded up right now. Looks like we're in Peterborough. Looks like it's raining as well. Stick to your schedule. All right, let's go ahead and first I need at least a minimal HUD here so we can see what's going on. There we go. And let's make sure our headlights are on as well. There we go. Take a quick look around the train. And oddly enough, the doors aren't open yet, which is a bit strange. Not sure if it's making me wait or if it's actually picking up passengers right now. Yeah, it's actually picked up passengers right there, oddly enough. Let's go ahead and get moving on. I'm going to go ahead and put it in four just to see if I get any wheel slip. If I do, I'll just restart the mission. But I don't think the light rain is going to affect the handling on the train at all. Looks like it's actually dropping in speed coming up here. And hopefully the sound's a little bit better. It's been uh, fairly low the past couple days. I think I got a fix working on my audio driver so you guys can actually hear the game sound a bit better. I guess I'll find out once this is all said and done, but there's no telling at this point. All right, we can already go 105. Let's go ahead and speed up here. And for the most part, I'm staying inside. Um, you know, I get. YouTube viewers that are either loving me staying in cab the entire time and I got people that want to see exterior views as well so every now and then I'll probably get on the exterior just so you guys can take a look around at the scenery and uh, at the train itself as well oddly enough I can actually hear the game sound quite a bit better as well
quick train buys right here and I'll get back in cab. Not a whole lot out here. Me drinking and driving the train today. I'm sure that's highly illegal. She working for the rail. We're actually behind schedule as far as our ETA to the arrival time. So I'll probably try to push it just a little bit, make sure we're not late for any platforms. bit of a slowdown, nothing you can do. Um, you can see it kind of twitch every now and then when it's loading the background tiles as I call them, like right there. That's just how the game is, is written. There's absolutely nothing you can do to fix that unfortunately. Alright, so we probably need to slow down coming up. Reduction down to 100 miles per hour. Could be kilometers per hour, excuse me, as well. Not sure if that's miles per hour, kilometers offhand. I'm assuming it's probably kilometers. But I could be wrong about that, too. A lot of farmland out in this area. It's going to get more congested the closer we get to London, though. Get some big slowdowns in certain areas. If anybody's tuning in, not sure. I can't see if there's any viewers in here or not. Uh, welcome to the stream, though. game almost stopped right there. I do have the chat overlay, at least I believe I do, on Twitch. And so you'd be, you should be able to see your own comments on there as well, hopefully. How's it going, Farmer? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Let's go and turn the, uh, the windshield wiper off real quick. And why did I get the AWS warning, it's a bit concerning. Oh, it's going down to 70 up here, that's why. Our ETA is actually slightly on time, or actually is on time now, with our arrival time, which is good. Let's go ahead and start braking. really want to overbrake, I just don't want to wait too late at the same time. If you guys are just tuning in, we are drinking a little bit of Crown and Coke right now. I need to go ahead and stop or start breaking now. So uh, feel free to grab a beer if you're old enough. If not, go grab a soda or something, whatever you like. And that's why we reduce speed right there to get off the fast track right there.
still have about eight miles to go to the next platform. I'm not sure why we're going down to 40. I'm assuming we're hopping off the fast line and then back onto it up here, but we'll find out. <laughs> there you go. I would say cheers, mate, but I'm American, so drink up. And uh, thanks for tuning in as well. I think you are the only person that's played more Train Simulator than I have, at least in my friends list. So uh, welcome. Thanks for joining in. I wish I knew how to pronounce that. Is it, is it Potamus Crime? I think I'm getting that right. Not sure, though. Getting down to 40. Hopefully, we're getting back on the fast line here. Looks like we have to either way, so that's what's going to be happening here. And we'll be able to go back up to 125, hopefully, for the remainder of the track to the next platform here. Oh yeah, Optimus Prime. Alright, got gotcha. you. Where are you guys from? Are you guys in the US or the UK? For some reason I think you told me Optimus at one time. I forget though. It's been so long since I did a, a live stream. I think it was New Year's, which I guess wasn't that long ago, but it seems like forever. CPU is definitely slowing down at certain areas. Nothing I can do about that though. What we can do is look at the safety information. I think I need some uh, some contacts or a magnifying glass for that. Birmingham? Yeah, I think I... That's outside of... Um, Jesus Christ. No, I talked to a guy that was in Sheffield the other day. Which I know Sheffield's what, an hour or two outside of Manchester and outside of Liverpool. Where I'm not sure where Birmingham is offhand though. This is the London to Petersboro route and we're going from Petersboro to London. As you can see it's kind of a lot of farmland right now. As we get closer to London, I'm sure it's going to be a lot more buildings and houses off the side of the tracks. Kind of uh, wasn't sure what to play when I started or first started. There was no one on, so just picked a scenario and went with it. If you guys want to see anything after this, then I'll be happy to play another scenario at your guys' request. And if you're just tuning in, feel free to, uh, to grab a drink, beer, whiskey, whatever you like, and uh, have some fun watching Train Simulator. What's up, Dark Age and Speedy? Alright, so just under two miles to go to Huntingdon. 
and I need to go ahead and get break in here. Hopefully I gave myself enough time to get down to 40. My arrival time, or my ETA is actually before my arrival time, which is good as well, so we can kind of take our time coming in. assuming we're getting off of this track but maybe not we'll find out here in a minute where Ozzy Osbourne's from that's pretty awesome I always wanted to move to London myself may do that in the future at some point the only problem with going to the UK, it's almost impossible for Americans just to get a a permanent visa there. I can go there for a two year vacation visa or I have to go to college there, which there's no way in hell I'm going to go back to college. But as soon as they make it easier to, to live in the country permanently, I might might head over there. Try to stop towards the end of the platform here. There we go. And finally, the door is open. If you guys weren't here at the first platform, I was loading passengers and the doors weren't opening on this side for whatever reason. Quite a few people on the platform here though. Take a quick look around. Not a whole lot, a whole lot out in the distance. A couple houses. And it started raining again. Yeah, I know I got you know, I live in Texas, everybody's against the universal health care. And uh, I'm all for it personally. I've been to the UK, the Canada, I've seen it in person. I'm not gonna say it's necessarily the best health care, but I mean it's free at the same time. And our health care costs are outrageous and until we fix or reform our health care, then uh, I think we should move to universal health care personally, but to each in their own, everybody in Texas is completely against it. Even though even if we don't move to universal health care, you're still paying for everybody's health care. That doesn't have it either way. It's just hidden into your monthly insurance costs. So it's one of those things. All right. Next platform is in about seven miles. And I'll bring up the task list so you guys can see it real quick. Started off in Peterborough right there. And making our way to King's Cross, London. About 58 miles to go. I apologize, this is a rather long scenario. I think it was about 70 minutes total. Don't have any clue how many minutes I've been playing so far, but I'm sure it's around 10, 15 or so. What have you guys been playing out there? You've been playing Train Simulator or any other games on Steam at all? I know I bought like 30 games when everything was on sale and I'll probably never play half of them just because I don't have the time to.
Oh, and another thing, um, I just hit a thousand subscribers and a hundred thousand views, which is pretty amazing considering I haven't made any videos lately. Um, so I'll be releasing a video on how you can win prizes. I got about four or five games to give away, including Train Simulator. And so you guys can tune into that video on YouTube here. And probably the next 48 hours I'll have it up. And the prize giveaway will probably be sometime next week as well. And just kind of drizzling outside here. Not really raining too bad. As far as this route, this is probably one of my favorite routes, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I would prefer playing this over Pacific Surfliner. I haven't done the London to Ipswich scenario, or uh, career scenarios, even though I have it. I'm assuming it's about the same. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. I could see myself playing this over and over again even after I beat all the scenarios. Just because there's so much along the way. I mean, you got churches, castles, all sorts of stuff on the side. And on the, uh, the career scenarios, only reason I play career scenarios, I, you know, for better or worse, I like getting the achievements, I like getting the experience points. You know, some people could care less, especially, if, you know, they say it's a simulator, there's no place for achievements or experience, but I feel like if I'm going to put time into a game, I would love to have a reward, and uh, I don't expect anybody to agree with that personally, but that's just me. The SD-45, is that a diesel? I'm assuming it's one of the diesels. The only problem with locomotives too, and I had a, had a couple people on Steam ask me, hey, can you help me with getting this locomotive to work? And they would have the locomotive that they paid, I don't know, God knows, 10, 20 bucks for. And they have the scenario it's supposed to, or the route it's supposed to go on, but it wouldn't load or it doesn't work properly for some reason. Personally, I've only uh, bought the actual routes that include locomotives. I have yet to actually purchase a locomotive that's not included in a route. Just for that simple fact that I've seen so many people that have problems with it loading on, on free ride or whatever you call it. just under two miles to go so getting fairly close ETA is just shortly before the arrival time which is good as well good looks like it stopped raining have I ever derailed a train yeah absolutely Especially when I first started, God, I, I'd hate to say how many times I probably derailed. Sometimes I did it for fun, sometimes I actually did it by mistake, just not knowing. Especially on the standard scenarios, which I used to play, I didn't used to play career scenarios. You know, you didn't really have to follow the rules per se, and uh, I would definitely take certain lines and certain turns too fast and derail. I'm going to be conservative on the stop, probably start around 0.35 and see where that leads us. Probably uh, break way too hard than what I need to, but we'll find out. Yeah, breaking way too hard. I'm going to let off the brake here for a minute.
Again, super conservative on the braking. And let's see if the door is open on this side. Of course, they open now, right? When people are watching. I swear they didn't do it before. Yeah, I do uh, live streams, or at least I try to every every Saturday, typically in the middle of the day. Only problem is lately I have a, a newborn baby, and luckily my wife is watching the baby right now. And that's why I had to do it a little bit later today as well. Just had too many things going on in the middle of the day. But always on Saturday, typically in the middle of the day. If not, I'll post on uh, Twitch and also on YouTube what time I'm doing it at, like I did tonight. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty hard to derail the high speed trains, especially on the fast portions of the set or fast uh, sections of the track, but I've definitely done that as well. Yeah, and the the career scenarios definitely make you a lot better at the game. You can go back and see my initial first videos until how I'm playing and what I'm doing now and it's like night and day and get back in cab here. I'll try to check out that locomotive. I just can't, I can't see paying 20 bucks for a locomotive. If I can catch it on sale, I might do it. Only problem with diesels, and maybe it's just me, they all look the same, especially the American, I guess they're all American diesels, or most of them are American diesels. But even the add-ons look like the originals that came with the game, in my opinion. Pretty, pretty similar to London to Brighton. It's probably pretty similar to London to uh, Ipswich as well how much of the uh, the tile sets are reused I'm probably thinking all of it when they do the UK routes just like uh, the tile sets on the Germans are reused for all the German routes as well and I think that's why the developers probably haven't made any other countries like haven't done the the Taiwan high-speed rail or the China high-speed rail just because they would have to come up with new tile sets which of course cost money and development time of which they could just release new routes and make money that's the uh, unfortunate side of being a developer, in my opinion. But uh, they have to do what they have to do to stay in business. And so far, it's the best train simulator I've seen, so I can't complain. All right, we're heading to Sandy. Have no clue where this is at in the country, not going to lie. Except for London, where I've been a couple times. Have yet to look up Petersburg on uh, Google Maps at all. I got a lot of comments from, I'm not sure if it was you or another person, about all the different diesel locomotives. And uh, he was wishing the developers would put in certain models. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not a, a huge train nut like some of the guys are that watch my videos and know all the different locomotives. I simply like playing this game for the most part. And I, I like train economy games in general. I kind of grew up playing Railroad Tycoon. Uh, Sid Meier's Railroads, the newer one, is really awesome to play. And that's kind of what got me into playing this game, is by playing all the different uh, train-based economy games back in the day. And there used to be one, Jesus, what was it called? A-Train on I think PS1 that I had back in the day uh, 
completely sucked at that game, but that's what first got me into the whole train economy games was uh, A-Train, I think that's what it's called. What I would really like to see, I would love to see the um, London, and I forgot what, what station, I think it goes out, Jesus, what was that station called, I forget offhand, but it goes from London down to Paris, and I'd love to see them do that high speed rail through the tunnel, and uh, maybe even add in Brussels off to the side in Belgium. And you could either go from London to Brussels or Brussels to Paris or Paris to London, etc. I think that would be pretty cool for them to do. And I don't think they'd have to change the tile set a whole lot because it looks pretty much like this along the way. Yeah, yeah, the Eurostar on the Eurotono. What uh, what station does that go out of? I know I I always stay right down the street from that station. I can't think of it. Has a huge hotel on there too. On top of the actual train station. Alright, so one and a half miles of Sandy, probably need to start paying attention a little bit, just in case. I'll try to be a little bit less conservative coming into this station. I stopped at point three five or started breaking at point three five. So maybe I'll do point two five this time. I think I'll still make it. Oh, got an achievement right there as well. 170 East Coast Main Line South, there and back again. I'm assuming that's for doing so many miles on the route itself. Yeah, St. Pancras, there we go. Yeah, it's literally, I always stay, there's a, um, it's not a Hilton, it's right across from the Hilton in that area. I always stay right down the street from there. It's kind of a financial district is what it reminds me of. Not a whole lot of things going on. There's only one bar, or one good bar and one shitty bar to go to couple of good restaurants though in that area. Alright, let's see. Let's do point two eight. There we go. Still probably breaking way too early, but that's fine. Definitely a lot better on the braking. So 0.28 is probably about where I need to be. Pretty close. There we go. So what's the uh, what's the crime like in the UK? I know you guys are some or in some of the uh, smaller towns that are not London. Is it is it pretty bad like here in the US, or is it just hit or miss depending on the area? What's up, Brett CDN? It's the uh, I think it's the class three sixty five EMU. I want to say. Let me take a look at it there. Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody on that's tuning into the stream. I'm pretty sure it's the class 365 though. And we're doing the uh, London to Petersboro route right now. Starting from Petersboro, heading into London. So as you can see, it's a lot more farmland out here. We're heading into King's Cross London, which will 
I'm assuming we'll have a lot more buildings as we get closer. Right, if you're just tuning in, you have to grab a beer. We are all drinking here. I don't care how old you are. You could be 10. You still need to grab a beer, though. Yeah, Train Simulator definitely needs multiplayer. And uh, another game that I love playing, Euro Truck Simulator 2. They're about to release the multiplayer mod here pretty soon. Pretty excited for that. I think once they do that, I'll definitely be making videos for it. Also, I just got the Track IR5, and I got it working with um, a Train Simulator as well. I'll probably be using that on the next live stream. Look a bit goofy because you have to wear a hat when you play, and typically I wear hats backwards, so I'm not used to wearing them forward. But uh, I'll definitely be using the Track IR5 in some of my future Train Simulator videos, along with using it on Euro Truck Simulator as well. All right, under a mile to go to the platform. I said 0.28 is when we need to start braking. And hopefully my computer doesn't lock up. It seems to be going slow at certain points. And hopefully I don't overshoot the platform because it looks like we're coming up on it pretty quickly here. Oh, it's going to be pretty close. I think we're going to overshoot it just a little bit. Not horrible. I know they've done worse jobs in New York. I've seen it where they've only put on the platform with two cars out of like six or seven. Not too bad on the crime. Well, the good thing is you guys don't have legalized guns everywhere like we do. Everybody where I live has a gun in the car, and uh, there's a whole lot of not-so-bright people around me, too, which adds up to a lot of crime. Is the, is the multiplayer a joke in that game? I have yet to play it. To me, it sounds like it'd be cool as hell. You could drive with your friends on on different routes and make money. Appreciate that, Brit. That that London to Brighton was my very first videos that I made for this game way back in the day. I mean, you can tell the difference in quality from what I'm doing now to what I was doing. Although I did do one scenario recently on the London to Brighton route that was pretty good where I was stopping like right at the end of the platform every time. Did a pretty good job on that. And if you're just tuning in, just to let everybody know, I did get a thousand subscribers. I have over a hundred thousand views and that's all within the past two months. Uh, two and a half months since I started, which is pretty good. And I'm going to be giving away a bunch of video games through Steam. So uh, I'll release a video on that onto YouTube on how to apply for the uh, the contest here, and probably in the next 24 to 48 hours or so. And trying to talk, read you guys' comments, and play the game. It's a bit hard. I don't want to speed or miss anything. My ETA is still pretty close to the arrival time, which is good. I 
and it's sprinkling on and off as you can tell. Yeah, Euro Truck Simulator, I mean, it's hard to say if it's if it's more boring than Train Simulator or not. Uh, I've definitely played a lot more Train Simulator. Um, but yeah, grinding on the highway can get old pretty quick, but people can say the same thing about Train Simulator too, so it just depends. Speed up just a little bit here. Right at a mile and a quarter to go or so to the platform. Again, loading tiles in the background. It's not doing any favors to my CPU at all. The GE ML Class 90 next. What is uh, What route is that? I don't know if I end. Is that the uh, Great Eastern Main Line, I'm assuming? Let's go ahead and start braking. I'll take a look for it next. We can kind of go through all the scenarios I got and see what you guys want to see. go. Yeah, you can you can definitely tell what I've learned over the couple of videos I've done. When I first started I had no clue about anything about trains and slowly but surely all the YouTube comments had me doing more things and uh, definitely a good thing. I mean it's more realistic the way I'm playing now for the most part uh, but it definitely makes it a bit harder especially with the American diesels you know doing certain horn sequences depending on what situation you're in and uh, making sure you're using the bell at the proper time that may be why I like the UK routes because there's not a whole lot of horn in use there's no bells to use in platforms they just kind of fly through it if you guys want to see more exterior shots just let me know I can always stay on the exterior for a while. I'm just used to being in cab myself. Portsmouth or ports, yeah Portsmouth direct line. I do have that. We can probably play one next. Not sure if I had that particular locomotive or not. Were you the one who left me a comment on YouTube about that? Because I did look it up, and I think I do have that uh, that locomotive on that route. I remember someone requested that a while back. Whoa. That is rough. So making quite a lot of stops here lately. They're not that, oh, don't want to speed. Almost got caught off guard right there while I was talking. So getting pretty close. There's a, a big gap going into Finsbury. And of course we got King's Cross, which is really close to Finsbury.
Yeah, that's cool. What's going on, Strip Lacebra? That's pretty neat. Yeah, if I didn't have or didn't own the business I have right now, I would definitely be a uh, train engineer. They're hiring down in Houston and a few other places in the U.S. right now. It's actually fairly easy to get a job there. And you, from what I hear, you start off in the uh, freight yard, working in there, loading and uh, getting train consist ready for the actual long travel engineers there. And as far as I know, you don't have to have a degree or anything to be a train engineer. You just have to go through the training and uh, be qualified for their tests when you take them. Oh, excuse me. Now the 377 Electrostar, that's on the, is that on the London to Brighton route? Hey Speedy, I do have a couple videos uploaded using American Diesel locomotives. Uh, there's a couple new ones on Stevens Pass that I have up, but I have a bunch of old ones. And I forget the route offhand that I have uploaded, but there's a few on my YouTube channel if you want to check those out. As far as doing a new one, uh, I would say probably in the next two weeks I'll probably have a new one up using the rail driver. Okay, coming in the hitch in here, it looks like it reduces down to 70 miles per hour here. Coming up. Hopefully I didn't start breaking too late right there. Ooh, ooh, I need to go ahead and pull forward more. What am I doing? wasn't paying attention in the view I was in and we're running a little bit behind which is not good either let's go ahead and get stopped regardless of being at the end here I always thought this was pretty neat they got the we are rail fans right there They're on YouTube, Speedy. I got about probably 60, 70 videos from Train Simulator on there. You can check out a couple of them, probably about 10, or American Diesels on there, a couple long scenarios as well. They're under uh, the Middle Age Gamer on YouTube, so definitely check that out when you get a chance. Yeah, I've seen a couple jobs out in Atlanta as well. Uh, no, not a problem, Speedy. Yeah, most people that are on here are usually on here for my YouTube channel. Haven't been doing this that often. This is probably my third or fourth live stream. So welcome, and uh, definitely go check out my videos on there. There's quite a few things you can watch. Yeah, hey Britt, I only got one of the World of Subways on an underground. I actually have Mission 2 done and recorded. I haven't edited the video as of yet. Um, as far as when I will get time to edit it, probably in the next week or two, I'll get it up on there. I do love that game. It's uh, definitely more a, a pure simulator at heart. 
as opposed to Train Simulator 2014, but it's definitely a cool game to play. It also runs quite a bit smoother than this game as well. Starting to feel the buzz come on as we get closer to London. Hopefully I don't mess up. As the night goes on, I think I'll be probably drinking a lot more in between scenarios here. The only th bad thing I've heard about the um, the different companies like BNSF is that they're really super anal on all the rules to the point where you can get written up for anything. Like if you don't sound the the horn for exactly 20 seconds, you know, you could be 19 and a half seconds, they can write you up for that. I'm not sure how bad it is in certain areas of the country, but I've heard a couple of horror stories when I was reading through the forums online. Of course, don't believe everything you hear online, right? You never know how true that that uh that stuff is. Also, for everybody watching, can you guys hear me okay? And uh, can you hear the game at all? I, I fixed my audio card and did a couple things. So I'm hoping you can at least barely hear the game or hear it somewhat. Whereas before, I don't think you could really hear it at all. And getting pretty close to, I think, Stevenage. I'm not, not sure how to pronounce that. You got to... I apologize in advance for my bad pronunciation on any of these towns or cities. It's probably Sevenage or something weird like that. Still getting a lot of freezing going on when the background's loading. Nothing to do or nothing I can do to avoid it. Gonna go ahead and start breaking probably a bit early. And I'll just as needed coming in. Kind of a cool station right here. Take a quick look around. And the last time I played this scenario, I wasn't looking at anything but the in cab view, so it's kind of nice to see the modeling and the details that have gone into making this uh, this route. I think the next one's going to be the long, the long stretch right here. Hopefully, it puts us on the fast track so we can get over 100 miles an hour again. We've got 25 miles to go, and then last stop is going to be Kings Cross coming up. On the uh, on the world of subways, wasn't Volume Two or Volume One in New York? I think it was Volume One. I could be wrong about that though. All right, thanks for that, Speedy. Thanks for letting me know. Is the rail driver worth the money? Um, the short answer is no. Not unless you really don't care for your money. The reason is it's, um, it doesn't work with some of the locomotives. There's workarounds for like this type of locomotive 
it works perfectly with the American Diesel after you do a couple hot fixes and, and fix the um, some of the files that's included. But to get it to work with the train like this, you have to switch files around. And then if you want to go back to driving the diesels, you have to again go back and switch a file around to get it to work properly. So is it worth it? No. I mean, I had money to blow and I didn't really care. Just like I bought the track IR5, am I really going to use it that much? Probably not. But uh, luckily, I'm in a position where it's not a huge deal to spend 200 bucks. Whereas somebody may spend 200 dollars, which is the only thing they can buy for you know a month or two for fun, and be pretty disappointed in the product. So I would only get it again if you got money to blow, or you're really super in the train simulators and you're really computer literate to the point where you can edit stuff as far as files and look stuff up on Google on how to fix um, issues that you have while you're playing the game. Yeah, I have volume one and I have volume two. Uh, volume one, I mean, it's a straight simulator. There's no missions or anything, which kind of bothers me. Um, as far as looks, to me, it looks fairly simulator or fairly uh, similar. Excuse me, the whiskey's probably kicking in to um, to volume three. Maybe a little bit worse on the graphics, but yeah, definitely no missions to do, which uh, makes it rather boring. I like the mix of simulator and game. Like Train Simulator 2014 is not a pure simulator. It's a mix of video game and simulator, which I like. All right, looks like we're going to be switching on to the high speed track coming up here, which is cool. And so far, I've been on time, which is also a positive. Hey, Farmer, just so you know, on the giveaway, I am giving away Train Simulator 2014 along with a couple other games as backup prizes for uh, second and third, maybe fourth. So uh, look out for my YouTube video on how to enter that contest, and you can definitely win Train Simulator. Yeah, Volume 2, that's the only one I haven't played. I have Volume 2 sitting in my uh, my game room. I have yet to even pick that up and play it. And with all the games I just bought on the Steam sale, I'm not sure if I ever get around to it, you know. I still have unopened PS3 games I haven't played.